Hey guys, my name's Colm, and on today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to at least control what is known as the box elder bug. Uh, now, previously I thought they were love bugs, they look similar, but they're two distinctly different things. Um, I've been fighting these guys for three years. They used to be on my house, in, and they were at such a high concentration where the wall would just look like a black, red uh, wallpaper. Um, I've been fighting them for three years now, and the only way or best way I've found to do it is to use citrus Ajax um, mixed at a high concentration with uh, water into your sprayer. I'll show you guys what I do. And this is what I have now. So at this point in their life cycle, you can see the adults. I don't know if you can see those. And that's typically what they look like. And then you can see the babies that are just hatching all over the place all over. They love to live in these uh, uh, maple trees um, or bucks, elder trees I believe is what they call them, why they get their name. Um, they're all around my house uh, and apparently they lay their eggs on the leaves or on the helicopters and they can end up at up to two miles away. So again I'm just going to show you a quick video as to what I do to try control them. It has helped out drastically but it is a constant ongoing battle. Okay, so step one, and I'm actually out of Ajax. Buy a big bottle of Ajax. I think this was like five bucks from, uh, from Sam's. Now I have a typical Home Depot sprayer. It's just one gallon in size. I'll put a link in the description. Um, this is a 90 fluid ounce bottle. I put in roughly an eighth of the bottle. So I would say I, I mix roughly 10 fluid ounces to one gallon. Now, I would go, if you if you want, go a higher concentration um, to where it's nice and bubbly and thick. I think it suffocates them, but the citrus smell apparently also helps to deter them. Now, of course, every time it rains, that citrus smell gets washed away. But yeah, it's okay. Let's show you how I do it. Okay, I filled my bottle. You can see it gets nice and soapy. Put that in, twist it, tighten it, and pressurize it. Okay, here we go. You see how they all scatter, just douse them. Now I spray the Ajax on my plants. None of them seem to be affected so far. Uh, so I'm gonna keep doing it because that's where a lot of these guys live. Again, they like the rocks, bricks, crevices, anything, anything sort of stony or brick-like. It's where they love to go hide out. And you'll watch. So a lot of them, or all the babies, are sort of just dying already. If I see them moving again, and you'll just see, I'll spray the ground with the rocks, and they just come out of everywhere. So I don't know if you guys can see them, but. It literally maybe too small for the camera but and so yeah I will go through and I'll douse this entire section as you guys will see so I tend to spray all the adults all the babies all the eggs I don't really know if it's effective on the eggs since I think the Ajax more so suffocates them than anything and uh, if you're searching for this video or how to control these beetles at this point, I think you're not going to feel sorry for them. I'm not a, uh, uh, I'm someone that loves nature. I try to take care of it. I think it's an extremely important. But when it comes to these things, they are extremely frustrating. Okay, so I've sprayed pretty much this whole area. Now let's go check out the damage. Okay, so as you can see, pretty much all these babies, there's one alive. But pretty much all of these guys, one more alive, for the most part, dead. And now this is where I'm saying, you'll spray this stuff, keep dousing them until they usually take five, 10 seconds to die or drown, whatever they do. Uh, but they will keep coming out of the nooks and crannies. It is amazing. I mean, I could spend 30 minutes doing this when you have a extreme infestation. 
But again, so I'll go around, I'll spray all the adults that I can find. You can see they're all dead. That guy's partially alive still. Um, but I have knocked out a lot. And half of them you can't see, but you can see how many are still crawling around in, in the rocks that have come out of the crannies as I've sprayed the citrus. But how many I've also killed. Again, dead, 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 dead. So yeah, that's the basics. Get some Ajax, it's cheap. Four or five bucks for that bought 90 fluid ounce bottle. Um, mix it in a sprayer bottle. If you don't have one, buy one from Home Depot. It's also cheap. And you will have to do this on a consistent basis until you knock that uh, population down. And again, if you got, that's the best I found is population control. If you guys have a better solution or found a better solution, please comment down below. I would love to hear it. I am so sick and tired of fighting these guys. Um, but if that's what you got to do, that's what, if that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please hit the like button. Uh, on this channel, I will do anything from home DIY stuff to some uh, financial advice to just general tips and tricks that I have found or have learned from somebody else uh, that I would love to share with everybody else. One, I enjoy videoing it. Uh, it helps teach me a lot um, and uh, I just enjoy it. So, and if I can help someone else doing it, then that is even better. All right, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Hit that like button, comment below, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more. Uh, if you have any thoughts or any video suggestions, also put those in the comments below. I am open, I am open. All right, thanks, you guys have a blessed day. I will see you next time.